Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the find function. So basically the find function helps you find some text within another cell with text or another cell with text or values. So let's get right into it. So I'll go into cell B2 here. To use the find function you just press equal, find FIND, open parentheses. I want to find the text. Let's just say I'm looking for the text 3, and capital T-H-R-E-E. -E. Oops. T, capital T, H, R, E, E. I want to find that and then close quotes. I want to find that text. You see this is bold here. And comma within this text within cell A2. Uh, I'm not going to need the start number for this example. And, and anyways, the start number is in square brackets. That means that it's optional. So here I can just press enter because Excel should be smart enough to know to close this parenthesis, close this uh, function uh, argument with uh, per close parentheses. So I'll just press control enter and you'll see that it outputs the number one. So what's that basically saying is it found the letter, I mean the word three and it starts in the first, in the first, um, in, it's the first character in that cell. Now what I can do is double click the fill handle here and it will copy the formula down and you'll see that you, you you might think that it should find it, it should output a value of one here in cell B4, but it doesn't because find is case sensitive. So it's looking for the capital T in three, and this one has a lowercase. Now find in itself is probably not as useful, but if we want to put it into other formulas, it could be useful. And here's an example of how we can do it. So one thing we can do is Put it in an if formula. I'm going to I'm I'm going to build this out into different columns to kind of make it a little easier to conceptualize. So let's say that we want to make sure that this is a number. So let's go in this column. Go equals is number, and we'll open parentheses and, and select cell B2. Close parentheses. Control Enter to say within the same cell. So output's true. So it says basically yes, that is a number. Let me cop double click the Double click the fill handle to bring the formulas down. That's number yes, that's a number true. And these three are not numbers because basically these are errors in the formula. Now what we can do is put an if statement over here. So equal if, so we'll open parentheses. So if we're going to say if this is true, if this logical test, this was testing, this was testing if that's a number. If that's true, then what value do we provide? What value should we have if it's true? And let's just say, well, we'll just say yes. And if it's false, we'll just say no. And we just uh, close parentheses. I like to close parentheses, I guess. And just press Control Enter to stay within the cell. So basically, it said yes. And I can double click that to fill it down. So if you wanted to provide, provide a little bit more, more a better explanation or add some text to the formula when you use the find this can help you out now we can all do this we can do actually do this all in this cell so what we would do is basically let me just I can just uh, let, let's just remove this one you can see how it's done I'll delete select, select that and delete it. I'll go into here and basically would find I'll use the is number first. That's the first check. Is this a number? Is number colon and then close a colon. And then it'll say true, right? So and then now I'm gonna do go back to that cell and put the if statement here. If if that is true, I go back go down to the end here. What value do I provide? I provide yes. And if it's false, no. And then close parentheses. Control Enter to stay in the same cell. Double click the fill handle to bring it down. And you see the different functions that I had in column C and D. We can put that all into one column or one cell. So that is the use of, that's kind of an example of using the find function, but giving a little bit more. Uh, I guess a little bit more variety in the answers that it can provide. So I hope this helps. Uh, there's also a another video I'll put together 
that's using the cousin of the find function and that, that's going to be the search function. Now go ahead and put a link here for you to go there and you can go and check that one out. You'll kind of see the difference between the find function and the search function. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.